So let's go through um, how a HipChat admin would go ahead and install one of these add-ons. So this is a HipChat administrative view. Now this is a web interface right here. And on the top you see some folder tabs. My account, it's a personal um, scope, group admin. That's for managing users, room level operations. There's a third tab there, server admin. Those are platform control specific to HipChat server. On the second tier of folder tabs, you see API in the middle. That's API v1 and add-ons all the way on the right. And that's, well, API v2 um, based. You can go to manage and view the existing add-ons you have installed. The text, the font's kind of small here, but you can see if it's installed on one room, many rooms, et cetera, the type of add-on that it is, and then also security scopes. You know, being able to uh, view history or be able to access um, other granular data. So there's add-on discovery within HipChat. This is awfully convenient. So your marketplace, your marketplace listing for HipChat is present in the product here. So we're getting quite a bit of traction with HipChat admins um, pulling in like this. Oh man. Here's an add-on descriptor. Ah. Anyways, um, the important thing with this descriptor is that uh, there's a URL, there's some callback URLs for the installation process, and at the very bottom of the screen there's a configuration callback here. Um, marketplace, this should be old hat for most of you, right? Have a vendor account, there is HipChat as a product. Um, what's interesting for these listings for uh, HipChat add-ons is there's an install button that will bring you to the the uh, descriptor URL, you could copy that and paste it into um, a HipChat server, or you could click on a link in the application details that will immediately bring you into the HipChat administrative UI. Boom. In this view, um, the background is um, the what's shaded. That's served by a HipChat. Uh, the pop-up window right there on the installation pane is still HipChat, but it switches context to the add-on. So right now this is, um, the, the, the add-on um, expressed a room scope. So when you go to add it here, it's asking for a room. By default, there's an everyone room with server, so we specify that and continue. Um, here we have security requirements. This is kind of like upgrading apps on your Android phone. You see the list of what else it wants. Go Click install to confirm. 